Kia ora, here's question two from paper 11 from May, June 2019 AS. Now this is a question where if you're doing A level, you'll see a completely different way to solve it than people who are doing AS. I'm going to do the revision videos so that AS students can do it straight away, but I am going to come back to, for the A level class and show you how to do this using implicit differentiation. So when you get a question like this, um, it's good to think about what's happening graphically before we jump straight into the algebra. We're given a line, 4y equals x plus c, um, and it's tangent to this curve here. Now, I'm going to rewrite that line in mx plus c form straight away. So y is equal to 1 quarter x plus c over 4. Right, so we've got that. We've got a straight line, and here we've got some kind of parabola. But it's not an x squared parabola like it usually is. It's a tipped on its side parabola. So it's got y squared equals x plus 3, and that's a, a sideways parabola. And it looks like this. When x is negative 3, that's when y is going to be equal to 0. And I'm looking for the coordinates, eventually, of the point where the tangent line this tangent line touches that curve. And you can see it's going to be somewhere out about here. So that's what this question's about. Now the way we do this is that we equate the two equations and we're looking for the place where there is one solution to that pair of simultaneous equations. right? And that's because we're looking for a tangent to a curve. And as soon as you think about one solution where you've got a quadratic, you should be thinking about having a discriminant equal to zero. And that is indeed how, this, how we're going to solve this question the first way. All right, so let's do it. We've got 4y is equal to x plus c, and we've got y squared is equal to x plus 3. So we've got a set of simultaneous equations. y squared minus 3 is equal to x from this one. So I'm going to substitute that in here. And I get 4y is equal to y squared minus 3 plus c. So y squared minus 4y, and I'm going to rewrite this as plus c minus 3 is equal to 0. So I've got a quadratic, so for one solution, we want to have b squared minus 4ac equals 0. So what's b squared minus 4ac? Well, I've got negative 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times c minus 3 is equal to 0. That gives me 16 minus 4c plus 12 is equal to 0. 28 equals 4c, c is equal to 7. Right, so that's the first part of the problem done. Okay, so c is equal to 7, and now we want to find the value of c. Uh, sorry, we want to find the coordinates of p. But we know that we want to find where there's this one point. So the easiest thing I think to do is to go back into that quadratic and solve it now, substituting in 7. So we have y squared minus 4y plus c, which is 7, minus 3, is equal to 0. So y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals 0, giving me y minus 2 squared is equal to 0. Now that makes complete sense. I have to have a perfect square, otherwise I'd be getting more than one or no solutions. right? So y is equal to 2. Right, what's x? Well, we had y squared minus 3 equals x from up above. You can go back and find that. So y squared, so uh, sorry, 2 squared, 4 minus 3 equals x. x is equal to 1. So the point p is equal to 1, 2. Let's go back and look at my really bad graph and see if that makes sense. Oh, well, the bad graph, bad graph is not here. But the bad graph goes like this. There's my parabola. There's my tangent line. And the point is looking pretty good, right? Um, go draw that in GeoGebra if you want to prove it to yourself that it really does work. Okay, now I'm going to go through this using a different method. Um, AS people who are doing AS this year, you're welcome to watch. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to use the idea that the tangent to the curve is linked up with differentiation. Now, in AS, if you want to differentiate that curve, you need to rewrite it. And you're going to have to rewrite it as y is equal to... Um, well, you have to do it in two bits. The positive part of this, which is x plus 3 to the power of 1 half, and the other bit of it, y is equal to negative x plus 3 to the 1 half. And if we draw that, 
and we look at our line here, we know that we're interested in this top bit, so we can forget about the lower branch of that curve, right? But that's a bit of a pain. Now you can get there differentiating that, but when we use implicit, we can do this problem really, really quickly as follows, right? So we know in here that the tangent line must have a gradient of one quarter. All right, so from this equation, we've got y equals 1 quarter x plus c on 4. And if we can just differentiate this quickly and solve it to have a gradient of 1 quarter, then we're done. So 2y dy by dx is equal to 1. dy by dx is equal to 1 over 2y, and that must equal 1 quarter, because in here, the gradient is 1 quarter. So using implicit, this problem gets a whole lot faster. Just get myself back some space. So what have I got? Well, I've got dy by dx is equal to 1 over 2y, so y must equal 2. Um, and when y equals 2, we can substitute that back in to this curve, as we did before. So 2 squared equals x plus 3, so x is equal to 1. So A-level people, if you're watching, you can see how quickly we can get the coordinates of P first. But we then have to go back and just find the value of C. Um, I'm being lazy, not going to a new page. But the equation we had was that 4Y is equal to X plus C. Um, so 8 is equal to 1 plus C. Therefore, c is equal to 7. So that's a very fast way to do that question, and I think a really good way to do that question if you're in A level. I'm sure that they would give you full marks for that, and the mark schedule they've put in doing it using um, a, a differentiation of the square rooted thing. So I'm sure they'd, they'd be quite happy to see some implicit coming in as well. All right, um, if you're in 11, I mean 12 MCA, don't worry about that last bit. You will learn all about it next year. Make sure that you can. Um, use the method that you've learnt where you're solving a quadratic and setting the discriminant equal to zero. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with more, but um, it might not be till quite a bit later on today.